What's up guys, doing a relay conversion thing with fuel pump drive. The idea is the fuel pump relay is now gonna be in the back of the car by the battery. So the ECU will turn on the regular fuel pump relay up front, but that will just pass 12 volts to the back, which will then turn on the relay in the back, turn on the pump. Because the intent is to do a fuel pump driver module. So I'm installing some extra wiring and whatnot and getting all the relay set up for that to work. And in the meantime, I have a fuel pressure sensor wired in the back now uh done some data logs and it looks like that's working well so now what we're doing is we've wired in this cable which is just a four conductor Ooh, where you are there four conductor black blue brown white so that runs through the kick panels along with the tail light brake stuff but now, station wagon, all that spits out, all that spits out in this cavity here. So what's going to happen is I already punched a hole. The battery sits right down here underneath the fender. So I'm going to have power and ground are going to come up through here to fuel pump relay. Eventually the injector or the uh, fuel pump driver module will go here. And I'm going to pull the fuel pump lines up through this hole also, or maybe one next to it. And uh, so if I can get all of it in here, I can relay it, have a ground loop, tie that off to something, might tie it off to one of these bolts or something, but that way it'll be ready to go for a fuel pump driver module down the road. All right, so oh, let's see if we can even see it. There we go. So relays down. So the idea is the red wire here disappears down through the loom. And connects. Connects to the back side of the battery shutoff. So that way. So that way, when I hit the battery shutoff, the car should shut off immediately also because we're going to shut the relay down, um, which will then cut the power to the fuel pump and engine should die so yeah and the ground side of the relay runs through here and down to the battery disconnect underneath to the two small posts so the idea is when i shut the car off i can also shut this relay down and turn the fuel pump off so let me show you up front all right so up front big wire oms uh old fuel pump relay so now this relay doesn't have to take a whole lot of load it's only has to drive the ignition system and like the wideband controller or something so here's that same gray wire with the four conductors uh the blue black brown and white so that plugs up into the little distribution block under here which comes off the fuel pump relay so now that sends signal back to turn that relay on so the idea is when i get the fuel pump or returnless fuel pump system sorted out, I could send PWM signal down either the brown or the black to the driver box that will be in the back by that relay. So that's all set up now. I need to give this all zip tied and tuck back up underneath the dash like I had it before. But uh, this is just the first step before driving a fuel pump uh, relay module in the back. And then go do a full returnless. So let me show you the motor side real quick. All right, so added fuel pressure sensor. It just loops around, connects back to the harness that runs back into the car. That way I can see fuel pressure now. Uh, data logs look pretty good. It seems to be working. It's about where I expected it. Uh, so, so far so good. So next step will be ordering up a DC to DC controller to drive the fuel pump itself and then creating whatever analog circuit I need there to probably just do a PWM to a low pass with like a 3.3 volt pull up wherever the module is at and then that way I can create an analog signal from the mega squirt box using the returnless fuel pump uh, software that's already built in so hopefully in the next couple days or something I'll get a DC controller ordered up probably just be another Amazon something rather I found this Hulo I believe it's called a 18 volt 25 amp variety that I will uh, 
wire together and 3D print a case for it and then wire it in, test some things a couple times, see what happens. It might just work right off the bat, so we'll see.